if you go back a hundred years and you think a hundred years on, which is where we are today, have we made progress? That's the question we have to pose for ourselves. Have we made progress against the children's rights? Now, I want you to take another mental journey a hundred years from now. So from 2024, a hundred years from now, guess what one of the biggest challenges is, is the climate crisis. So children, I'm looking at you. We are sorry we contributed to this crisis. We are sorry that you will have to take it up, but together with us, we will mount an effort, you know, to turn this around. Because we, are rea we realize that if we do not do anything about it, the world that we are living for you, the world that you inherit, is not the world as we found it. And for that, we have to, we apologize for that. We have to ensure that as policymakers and all actors are looking at this issue, they do not forget that your rights should underpin policy and action and practice. So I am so, so honored that we are in a room today that is coming together to celebrate the launch of this flagship, but also to celebrate the launch of Kenya and Madagascar's flagship program. And when it is successful, as it is, you know, uh, as they go along the path, one of the things that we are going to be hoping to do is to replicate it across the region. Save the Children is in 14 countries across East and Southern Africa. And the effects of climate action cut across, you know, from the south of Madagascar that suffers severe, severe droughts to Malawi where the population over the last 20 years has grown by 10, 20 percent and guess what? The yield of food production has lessened by 20 percent. That math doesn't work. 